Welcome back to DIY RV and Home Camper's Life. My name's Greg. Now, last year, um, I went ahead and built a system to uh, get my generator in the back of my truck with ramps using a pulley and a chain um, in the bed. Uh, recently, Iowa sent us out a cable swag tool for us to uh, go ahead and uh, try, test, and give a review on. And I've already done that. There's a link right there for that. So now I just want to show you the updated uh, system that I'm using to load the generator into the back of the truck. So in here is the entire kit that I use, excluding the ramps. And of course, I always have gloves. This is just the pulley that I'm using. Um, I'll bring it and I'll give you a closer look at it real quick, too. It is the Tough Tug RH700. Rope hoist. That I used, and so far it's worked really good. And here is the cable system I made to attach to the back of the truck so that I can uh, hook up the winch, pull that generator up. And as you can see, um, I've crimped it wires here. There's also a uh, stop ferrule right here. And I just got some. Uh, heat shrink tube over it just to keep it from going all over the place. And again, over on the other side, same thing. So now, real quick, I'm going to go ahead and uh, jump up, attach it to the inside of the truck, and then uh, we'll get everything set up and we'll actually put the generator in the back of the truck. So now what I need to do is just make sure that my ropes are straight, they're not twisted up. Once I got that, uh, real simple, I'm just going to kind of give my hand a little wrap around the cord pull as I assist the generator going up the ramp. And when I want to stop, I just kind of put my arm out to the side and it will set the lock where I can release and reset. So this does have a built in lock lock on the pulley system come back don't have much pressure on it right now so like that now I can just lock it up till I'm want to stop and then I can uh, Pull my arm off to the side. It sets the brick, the stop on the pulley. I can readjust. As you see, the generator is not going anywhere. One thing, if you haven't noticed, is that I actually do have a extra set of wheels on this that I added to the generator just so I can uh, roll it up and down the ramps without uh, fighting it. And I've got it set to where the uh, got it set to where those wheels are just high enough to roll on the ramp just right, but the feet uh, to keep it uh, from moving around um, touch the ground when it's just that level. So now I've got it just at the break point for the uh, to go up onto the tailgate. I can let off. It's going to sit there. And then I can just go ahead. Just up, and there it is. To take it back down, it's just as simple. I just put the rope in the center to where the lock is released. Pull, allow it to come over, and then take control of the rope. And once it's down a ways, then I can come out to the side if I need to. 
I can just put my arm out and it stops in position. Once I'm good, I can release it and keep going. If I have to, just move my arm out again and it will stop. The reason I wear gloves is because if the rope starts slipping, So there it is. It's the updated way I load and unload our generator out of the back of our truck. So the reason I'm taking the generator this weekend is because uh, we do have some uh, weather in the forecast, some rain, and uh, I want to make sure that we are able to keep the batteries up on the trailer. Um, I'm working on increasing the size of our solar system, but for right now I've only got 200 on the roof. So just in case, we're taking it. Uh, last time we took it, and didn't need it. So hopefully it's gonna to get to the point where we're gonna get rid of the generator and not have to use the system. Uh, I'll get a smaller generator, but until then, that's how I'm doing it. If you liked the video, please hit the like button, subscribe and share. And until the next one, happy camping.